Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tess and I live in Atlanta with my husband Samir and our three feline friends, Baby Lobster, Pungy, and Huey. Today we're going to tackle the mess underneath the bathroom sink and get everything decluttered and organized. So if you're looking for some deep cleaning motivation, then let's get on into it. I'm starting off in the shower using my Method Anti-Back in the Spearmint scent and I'm getting that sprayed all over the walls before I wipe them down with just a regular sponge and then rinse the walls with water. So as I was finishing up in the shower, I just noticed that the shower head was super dusty. So I'm just going through with a washcloth that's got a little bit of all-purpose cleaner on it and getting that all scrubbed off. saving trick. So I'm about to go in using my Windex and just get the mirrors really clean, but they're not really that dirty, right? Like it's not the same as a toilet. So I like to do two things. Thing number one is whatever paper towels I use to dry my glasses after I wash them, I don't throw those out. They were just used to soak up the extra water that's on the lens. They're not dirty. So I put those underneath the sink and let them dry, and then I can reuse them for jobs like this so I don't have to get fresh ones. Tip number two, after I use this paper towel to wipe down the mirrors, again, they're not that dirty. There's not a ton of germs on there. I'm not throwing them out. I'm again gonna save them, put them underneath the sink and let them dry out, and then I'm just gonna keep using it for several more times because they're not that germy. So that's really gonna save you on some paper towels.
So on an ordinary day, we would call it quits. We'd say, we're done. We're just gonna sweep them off the floor. But we really need to do a deeper clean today. And let me show you about some of the dirt that I found. The other day I noticed like all of this, I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's a little bit sticky. I have no clue what it could be. I almost wonder if it's been sitting on this door the entire time we've lived here, just over a year. And we just never noticed it because I don't know what we could have done in the bedroom on the floor that would have like splashed up like this. So I'm just gonna come in with like a washcloth and my Method All Purpose spray in Lime and Seesaw and I'm just gonna get that wiped down. Aren't you glad we cleaned that door? Now it's got a nice, beautiful white backdrop. Um, one thing to consider as you are doing some organizing, do we want it to look beautiful? Yes, but more than that, we really want it to be functional. So whatever you're gonna be using routinely or on a daily basis, that's gotta be accessible to you. If it's something you're gonna use monthly or maybe when you're just going out, that can go underneath the sink towards the back. It just doesn't need to be in the top drawer. It might look nice, but if it's not functional, it's not gonna work for you. Organization is all about doing things that are functional and that make sense based on your need. So as I'm starting to organize things, I'm gonna keep that in mind. So I don't just put pretty things together, but instead put things together based on need. Now I know I can't be the only one who's underneath the sink cabinet, it looks like this. This is my attempt at organizing. Um, Cause if you have bins, then that's organized, right? Um, so what we're going to do is just take it all out and then we're going to start making piles based on what I'm keeping and then what needs to get thrown out or given away. Then from there we can organize based on category and see how we can maximize our space. So now that it's out, let's get that cabinet clean and then we can start figuring out what's garbage and what's going to stay. So now that we have cleaned things out, I got rid of garbage. I also put some things in the guest room that I think would be nice for our guests to be able to use. And now it's time to get things put back in. So I bought these like risers from Amazon. I think it was like 13 bucks for two of them. 
and it's going to help me take advantage of some of the vertical space that's in the cabinet that otherwise wasn't being utilized. And as I get things in here, remember that we're trying to keep in mind that we're going for function. Yes, we want it to look pretty, but it will naturally look pretty if it's functional. So let's get to it. This isn't bad. I'm definitely liking these risers because I can slide things underneath that I'm not really using that often. Like all of the stuff in this plastic bag back here is like travel stuff. So we're not going out of the country very soon. So I can just get that out of the way. Then up here is like toothbrushes, extra toothpaste, band-aids, first aid kind of stuff. Over here we have hair products. Um, and other things for skincare like face wipes and razors. Then we've got hair styling tools back here. I don't use those that frequently, so it makes sense to kind of get them out of the way. Up here in the front, we've got different kinds of sunscreen that are great for the summertime, so I can keep those in the front for now. Then there's some tampons and Q-tips. And right here we have just some makeup. And guys, this was actually super exciting for me. This is all brand new. You're going to think I'm a crazy lady. But I bought all of this within the last couple of weeks because my makeup is from high school. And it is time to get some new stuff. And again, I'm not using it that frequently. So it's okay that it's in the front. I can just grab this entire basket when I need to and take the entire basket up. And then when I'm, when I'm done with it, I can just slide it right down. And if I find that this isn't the best spot for it, then I can just find another spot for it in the back. I do want to find a way to like take care of this space. There's so much more space, especially up on this side, that I could take advantage of. But I'm going to have to think about what types of risers are going to allow me to do that. But this is a lot better, you know? Like I can grab this entire thing of hair and skincare stuff. I can grab the entire basket of first aid type stuff. This is good, this will work. This is functional. I was also to go in and get this organized. This is kind of like my everyday drawer. This is teeth whitening gel. Don't be scared guys. That was for the wedding. Um, so toothpaste, medications, things that I use all the time are up here. We're gonna have to get to that another day. Tess is feeling tired. Um, this drawer here, this is all Samir stuff. And this is Samir's cabinet. He takes care of that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And then down here, we're gonna have to do this another day. This is all that makeup we've gotta go through and start throwing some stuff out. Some extra face wash. And this is all nail stuff. Nail polish, again, like stuff I've probably had since high school. Let's save that for another day. guys enjoyed this video and got some awesome cleaning motivation go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when my next video hits and I will see you guys in the next one